The Baltimore City State's attorney says that the family's actions were captured on video, security video at two different locations, and that helped lead to the charges. Now, more than ever in Baltimore, we need parents to be parents. These two parents fell woefully short of their responsibility that day. Baltimore City State's Attorney Ivan Bates wants to hold 40-year-old William Dredden and 37-year-old Tiffany Harrison accountable. Dredden, Harrison, and their 15-year-old son face a laundry list of charges for their alleged involvement in the pistol whipping of a student. That incident ending in a triple shooting. Back on October 27th, just as the school day was about to start, police responded to shots fired outside Carver Vocational Technical High School in West Baltimore. School security cameras captured the entire incident on video. Our schools have enough problems, but to see parents, all this is legend, in a video participating in these types of acts to children is absolutely mind-boggling. According to the indictment, the father, mother, and son allegedly worked together to assault another student, Dredden and his son repeatedly hitting the victim with a handgun and their fists. But things didn't end there. The 15-year-old is accused of firing his handgun and striking two other students. One of them shot back, hitting the juvenile defendant. We are battling to deal with juveniles, and we need parents to be part of the solution, not the problem. According to the indictment, before the shooting, private surveillance video showed Dredden and Tiffany Harrison leaving their home and getting into an SUV. And after the shooting, video shows the teen and his parents arriving back home. I was sick and disheartened, and without a doubt, we said we are focused on holding these parents accountable. If parents wish to do this type of behavior, then you too will be held accountable. And our accountability for us means jail. Not local jail, we're looking for prison. Bates tells us six individuals were involved, five of them face some criminality. When asked about charges for them, he said those who should be charged have been charged. Reporting from downtown Baltimore, Barry Sims, WBAL-TV 11 News.